if you shoot video or still photos, you probably use AA batteries for something, whether it be for an audio recorder, for a flash unit, for LED lights, whatever it is, we almost all use them. And in the last few years, it's gotten a lot easier with Eneloop batteries. Now, those are great batteries, but I've also found a charger that really kind of helps optimize these batteries. Check this out. Now, for those of us that shoot video and film and still images, at some point in our workflow, we're probably using AA batteries, whether that be for LED lighting, for audio recorders, for flash units, whatever it may be. And if you haven't already heard of them, Eneloop are probably the best batteries. I think that's, uh, I don't know if you, if you guys know better ones, let me know, but these are the best that I've seen out there. And I think a lot of other people have found that these work really well too, in terms of uh, retaining their charge over time. So that's a great place to start. What I found though, is that the, one of the secrets to longevity in your batteries and consistent performance is actually charging them slowly, not, not charging them rapidly. And so my strategy is I have four sets of four AA batteries. So that was a pretty significant investment. However, I've had them for three years, three and a half years. And after three and a half years, they are still working like when I bought them new. So the secret to that is charging them slowly, as I mentioned, and here's a charger by LaCrosse Technology that costs about $33 US on Amazon that does a really nice job. It can charge them very slowly. You can take 12 hours to charge a set of four batteries if you choose to. That's probably the best for your batteries in terms of longevity. If you do need to speed up the charging, it can do that as well. Let's take a closer look. All right, here we have our LaCrosse Technology BC700 battery charger. And um, as you can see here, I've got uh, four double A's in it. On the back, it notes a couple of things. Again, model number, it's four nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride. Most rechargeable batteries these days are nickel metal hydride, much better battery technology. This is also capable again of charging double A's or triple A's, and it can do batteries that are rated from 300 to 3000 milliamp hours. And so that's mainly it. Oh, actually on the back here, it also puts a URL for the instructions. If you do lose your instruction booklet, you can get them online. And I checked, they are there, so that's cool. This comes with this uh, wall wart adapter here for plugging it in. I've got the US version, um, but it does actually adapt from 100 to 240 volts. And I have used it internationally. You just have to adapt the plug itself, but the adapter here will change the voltage for you. So that's a pretty nice feature. Now, one of the things that the charger has is the, it has an overheat sensor, so it knows if any of the batteries are getting too hot, and it'll actually shut down the charging on that battery. And also, when it's done charging, it will do a trickle charge, so that is, it'll keep it charged up until you take them off of the um, actual charger itself. Just to demonstrate the different types of modes here, we'll plug it in, and you can see here with our mode button, we have, it comes to charge mode, you can change to discharge mode, to refresh discharge mode, or to test mode. Now, um, typically what I will do is, oh, you can also change the current from 200 to 500 to 700. Again, if you wanna charge faster, you can move it up to 700. Normally, if I have plenty of time, I'll just leave it at 200, which is easiest on the batteries. Okay, now quickly, what those different modes are. Charge actually just takes the batteries and charges them up until they're at their maximum capacity. Discharge mode works a little differently. What it does, it actually helps reduce the memory effect in rechargeable batteries. And it does that by discharging the batteries completely and then recharging to full capacity. So this is the mode I use as long as I've got time. Again, if I do it at 200 milliamps, which is the default setting, and I choose discharge mode, it actually takes about 12 hours, <laughs> which again is a long time. But again, if you're not in a hurry, that's probably the best way to do it in terms of maintaining the best capacity and the best overall lifetime health of your batteries. There is also a refresh mode, and this is if your battery's in kind of a bad shape. What it'll do here, it will actually discharge and charge a battery 20 cycles until they're up to maximum capacity. So that actually will take a long time. And then there's also a test mode, which can just tell you what the total capacity of your batteries are in terms of milliamp hours. And it does that by charging to full capacity and then discharging completely. If you use the discharge mode regularly, you shouldn't ever really need the refresh mode, in theory at least. But if all of this is really kind of confusing to you, I have good news. You can just leave the whole thing in, in default mode, change to discharge, come back um, and check to see that it actually says full for all the batteries. And then as soon as it says full, you're done and you're good to go. So it doesn't have to be complicated if this is a little bit more than you were looking for in a charger. Now, if you found a combination of batteries and charger that work better, 
uh, let me know down in the comments below and let all of us know so that we can benefit from that information as well. And I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for checking out this episode. And if you would like to get more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video, go ahead and subscribe and we'll talk to you soon.